Hello everyone, this is uh, Michael Magelli. Uh, I am presenting a case on uh, stent loss during LID CTO PCI and how we rescued it. Our patient is a 43 year old man. He has a class 2 angina. One month prior, he had inferior STEMI and had RCA PCI, but he had remaining LID CTO. And given his symptoms, we decided to fix his LID CTO. This is, uh, is dual angiography using a radial femoral approach. And as we see, we have a short occlusion of the LED, about three, 30 millimeters, with a very good proximal cap, tapered, good quality distal vessel. And the collaterals are large, non tortuous epicardials going all the way down. So with this short occlusion, we decided to start with anti-grade wiring and in case of failure, we decided to go with the retrograde approach. ADR was the last option given that uh, large diagonal and uh, bifurcation of the distal cap. So we decided to start with a turnpike LP and a fighter wire, um, soft wire like the uh, Fielder XT. That did not work because the wire could not cross, so we decided to proceed with a Pilot 200 and Guy a second, but all these wires kept going in the wrong direction and did not fit the proximal cap. As you see here, all the wires are going in the wrong direction. So after failure of these uh, techniques, so we decided to proceed with the retrograde approach. We moved on to the RCA, used the turnpike S3, and uh, we got to the distal cap. We did angiography, confirmed we are at the distal cap. We can see the, uh, the diagonal at the bifurcation. Then we used multiple wires trying to penetrate the distal cap. We used a Pilot 200, Gaia second, but this did not work. So we moved on to the Confianza Pro 12 and we made a small progress with that, penetrated the distal cap and we advanced the Turnpike LP. We then used the Pilot 200 to knuckle through the CTO body. Then we used a Gladius Mongo to uh, penetrate the uh, proximal cap into the anti gray guide. As you see here, it's really moving into the aorta and moving into the guide. We then externalized an R350. And then we used a 2O balloon to predilate uh, to predilate the CTO. However, we accidentally lost the R350 wire position uh, because we did not have a torque around the proximal end. So the only way we could maintain wire position is that we used a twin pass and we rewired integrally with a Samurai RC guide wire. We then proceeded with um, an attempt to stand. So we used a 25 by 32 drug loading stand, advanced it through the CTO, but fortunately we noticed that the stand just came off the balloon in the uh, CTO body. And uh, probably the mechanism of the stent loss that we had here is that we did not prepare the lesion very well <coughs> That's why the stand got stripped off the balloon. So the approach to stent loss, we can either decide to retrieve and sometimes not retrieving it by deploying or crushing would be a better option. But given that we maintained wire position, we decided to proceed with the retrieval. So we decided to use the first and simple step, which is a small balloon technique. With in which we advance a small balloon distal to the stent, we inflate it, and then we pull the whole, uh, we pull the balloon with supposedly the stent that will be hooked to the balloon so we can retrieve it. So we used a 1 5 by 15 balloon through the wire, inflate it distally, 
and then we pulled the balloon and that pulled the stent with it as well and this is uh, the balloon that was pretty deformed when we took it out of the body we then use the 2.5 uh, balloon to adequately prepare the lesion and then we stented uh, the LED CTO the 2538DS but unfortunately that led to a pinching of the cercostium so we decided to proceed with v-stenting so we placed a 30 by 8 millimeter stent in the circ with a kissing uh, balloon in the LED then we finalized final kissing with the 30275 in the circ and LED and this was the final result uh, with the wire in place, which is pretty good. So we decided to remove the wire. However, after removal of the wire, the flow in the LED was pretty sluggish and the collaterals from the RCA were robust. So in order to diagnose the problem, we needed to regain power wire position and we didn't want to wire anti-grading in case there was a dissection so we still use the retrograde approach and we rewire through the LED again externalize R350 and this time we put a torquer on the proximal end so we don't lose it then we did OCT and OCT here showed us um, the exact culprit for the sluggish flow which was edge dissection at the stent and intramural hematoma and the treatment for this is stenting so we placed a 2 to 5 by 12 promise stent had pretty good results afterwards uh, with OCT this was the final result so multiple lessons from this case number one is using the hybrid algorithm can lead to a high success rate. In our case, although the CTO is very favorable for the integrate approach, we tried, and when it failed, we switched to the retrograde approach in a timely fashion. Number two is that poor lesion preparation can lead to stent loss. In case of stent loss, and if the retrieval was decided, small balloon technique can be very helpful by if the guide wire position is still maintained, by inflating a small balloon distal to the stent and then retrieve both the stent and the balloon. Finally, in case of no reflow, imaging, intravascular imaging, and specifically OCT, can help diagnose the causes and guide treatment. Thank you very much.